Welcome back everybody into another daily week up today. It's Friday, it's the 24th of February and as always we're going to have a look at what happened today on gold. As you can see, we already see chat up the trade, the trade that I took, but let's go back and see the price action from the uh, Asian pre-London and London session. As you can see, uh, we found uh, 1826, uh, almost basically a key level at 28, but some PPLs. We find a rejection, multiple rejection, and these eyes. As you can see, London opened over here, but found uh, its way to a double top at 1826 uh, before going back down. As you can see here, after these multiple rejections, we can identify price simply making lower highs and lower lows, which we can identify here lower high, lower high, a new lower low, a new impulsive lower low, a new lower high which could have possibly been a nice entry at 18.20. As you can see here, multiple rejections, break and retest, closing below 18.20. And uh, we're now into pre-New York. So we are almost one hour pre-New York. And we can only see price making lower high, lower low, a new lower high, retesting 18.18.7, which was the song PSA from yesterday, which also uh some jump and bounce from this uh, london session let me just mark it up like this okay so yeah this is the liquidity and then simply making a, a lower highs lower lows and new lower low and then a new lower high so uh this is the pre new york uh session the pre new york market structure that we find when you are coming into the charts for the New York session to trade the New York session. So let me show you uh, the trade ideas. As you can see, coming into the charts, identifying a very bearish trend line, price making lower lows. So I was looking for the full uh, for possible 75% retracement of this overall bearish move uh, around 1822 and 1821, uh, or a retest of 1820 key level and the previous PSA, the PSA that today uh, was very strongly um, used as a retest or possibly 1818 18 for a possible retest. So uh, also as well here 1814 possible buy area, 1813 sorry, or sells below 1812.5. What uh, I could have possibly identified already at the start of this session was already a bearish trend line. Uh, now, of course, is in hindsight because we are going to see the retest of this trend line before going back down multiple times. And uh, but yeah, we could have identified it already. So let's go back and see what the, the actual price action. So as you can see, we have London, we have, we have New York open, but there's nothing much uh, to do. That's because at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, that's when we had some news, the, GDP, the core PCE coming out stronger and higher than usual, not the usual, than, uh, than prior and than expected. So we saw a huge liquidity grab on the downside, but when I saw a multiple failure to break above, break below, as you can see, we have a candle closure here, candle opening over there, uh, making a lower wick. Also already here, this candle close could have been a nice entry because if you remember 1813 was my buy area. Uh, the only thing is that, yeah, I waited a lot because of course the spread is still high, still very strong and the main bias is a sell. But when I saw also this bearish candle failing to break below and the very next one making a lower wick and then being bullish, I said, okay, let me take uh, take advantage of this uh, liquidity and volatility, sorry. And I took advantage and took one buy over here on the upside for like 18, 20 pips, closing it and uh, actually at a very good point, closing it when I saw multiple rejection at these previous lows, these previous eyes on the left hand side. And again, what we see, we can identify that the trend line is being respected, the market structure is being respected and uh, also matching with the fundamental uh, catalyst of course a higher pc which means possible higher uh, rate hikes in the future from the fed so this was the first trade after all uh, i failed to take 
uh, these cells because uh, it was a little bit. I was looking also for uh, this retracement. But when this went above it, seventy five percent, it was still very messy. Uh, I don't. I didn't take the cells over there. I was not looking for them, but it was very strong. This candle closure was strong and giving confirmation confirmation for like 30 pips 40 pips scalps on the downside and we can see that the key level 18.12.5 gave some strong uh, rejection so at this stage this stage uh, i was if you remember i was looking for cells below 18.12.5 and what i was uh, looking at when i saw this of course i was waiting for the candle to close um, compared to yesterday so when i saw this candle closing bullish I identified a possible double bottom and the rejection of this key level and exhaustion from sellers. What I didn't do was actually entering buys uh, and I actually simply waited and then I saw this candle movement. The price action is not as strong but there was enough range on the upside so I wanted to take this buy scalp. The only thing is that of course the price action after this impulsive move was like 7 10 pips when i saw this rejection that's when i closed it for another profitable scalp uh, of course this entry over here would have been absolutely nice 45 pips up to the previous eyes but we what we can see is that yes i was looking for buys but uh, it's actually counter trend so i was not staying on the sell side even though the market structure was still showing me sell pressure i was not being patient and waiting for the co the proper confirmation like this rejection this rejection of the same key level uh, ppl and matching the trend line so uh took one buy it was a win yes but it was not the prettiest because i could have had a much easier uh much much easier uh, job moving on the on the side of the trend if i just waited for this candle kind of rejection would have been 40 pips. If I waited for this candle kind of rejection would have been 50 pips. And if I waited for this candle kind of rejection, yeah, it would be even 30 pips more. Uh, so I still fail to stick to, to one bias, uh, but that's that's still fine. As long as I can manage the price action, because for example, here I took one buy and I closed it here for a small profit. I took another buy and I closed it for a small profit understanding the price action so, so it's not not staying emotionally co uh, connected and actually uh, attached to a trade uh, which is actually good uh, then i took one risky uh, sell below this this area the price action as you can see the candles are showing me many many widths they are not full candle bodies so i saw that the price action was not optimal, but I used a very, very small lot size and I took just a minor loss. I took it, I had the stop loss above this previous candle and it took me out without any issue. I already accepted it. We can also see that this is probably a 50% retracement or even more. Yeah, this candle happening after a New York stock exchange. If I was only looking for sales, could have given me a nice scalp. And this is actually a very nice story and i will talk about this candle here because that's something that i saw live it's just that it didn't happen i will talk about it in a minute uh and yes this entry would, would have been like a 50 pip <coughs> after that what i saw was okay further rejection here so i saw this rejection at this is around uh let me just do like this yes that's because yeah, I remember that was a 50% retracement. Uh, that's also the same PSA. So when I saw this rejection overall, I took a sell at this level, taking advantage of the volatility uh, and the at four, we have the Michigan consumer confidence, consumer sentiment, which came out much better. So I was playing in the dollar strength after it. So I took my sell here when the candle flipped and I took my 10, uh, 15 pips to the downside for another quick scalp uh, that was the last trade of the day after that we can see that market maintained bearish market structure but failed to make new lows below 1810 so yes we could have had some other quick scalps some other quick scalps on the downside here 
30 pip, this is like 20 pip, but then after multiple uh, failure to break, that's where uh, you could have had, I mean, for me it's just a Friday, and so it's at the end of the week, not taking too many trades, but you can see here at the 18, 13, the weeks, no candle bodies closing above, not a single candle body, yeah, this one here, but look at this candle, that's why you could have taken further scalps on the downside, 30 pips, another retest of 18, 12, 30 pips, very slow, but still going bearish for more than 20 plus pips. So let's talk about what happened here, uh, around here. This is a very nice uh, thing to journal and to talk about it. Let me just cancel this. Okay. So that's actually what happened. So as I told you, I was already looking at this overall bearish movement. Uh, we can identify here that's a bearish trend, making a new lower low. So it makes sense to wait for a retracement. And that, that retracement can come up at different levels. The one that does one, that's 50%, which does not match any price action, any price action of the uh, market structure, because 50% is here in the middle of anything. There's a 61.8 that actually matches these previous candle highs. So what I was looking for was exactly, and I placed a sell limit at 18.14.87. Uh, now there are two things. One is that I cancelled, I cancelled this sell limit because I was scared. I got uh, the fear of I don't know being wrong, or of just seeing the price go back up, and. It would have not been triggered anyway because of like one pip, but that's that was absolutely amazing. That price uh, would have gone amazingly well. The scalp would have been on the downside uh, just from this this eye. If you can see on trading view, it's saying that is it reached eighteen. Uh, the high is eighteen fourteen point eight two. My sell limit was eighteen fourteen point eight seven. Um, but I cancelled anyway, so also on my feed there was it was not reached that level it was reached at like 0 0.72, and yeah, that would have been a nice to the downside 40 pip scalp. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that was that sucked a little bit because of uh, what it means to uh, be scared of it. But uh, anyway, I should have entered manually because there's, there was f multiple confirmation. This candle already showing me confirmation that there's a rejection at this level. I could have entered manually. And even for uh, less pips, as you can see, it will have ended up with like 15 pips stop loss. This will be still a 30 pip win just to the previous lows. So that's absolutely something that I should have done manually, but I had my mind just stuck on say, well, why did I do that? Uh, now let's see if it actually goes in the right direction, uh, blah, blah, blah. So that's just a bunch of bullshit. And yes, that, that was really nice. Uh, yes, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for the weekly re review, scrapping review, and uh, see you guys.